Good morning and welcome to New York Crypto Talk. Today's topic of discussion is a highly revered new cryptocurrency called Bodos. This cryptocurrency is a decentralized AI data sharing network. What does that mean? It is basically a data sharing network protocol based on blockchain technology. It is also consensus based one stop platform to implement the registration, distribution and transformation of the data among different participants within the broad based AI ecosystem. What does that mean? So the vision and uh, direction that Bodos is taking is that within the AI world, um, the way that we're moving in the AI industry is we are the biggest issue and the biggest constraint or bottleneck is data. So what they're looking to do is get that data to AI uh, distributed models, to different vendors, to different platforms. So their goal is to be the, the sole hub or one of the core hubs for AI data sharing, um, AI data mining, uh, and that's where the blockchain comes in. Uh, they basically want to build and become the largest global data sharing network to evolve AI ecosystems via smart contracts on the blockchain. And by that, they're going to be able to help capitalize the assets with the clear ownership and better control and data privacy through a transparent and democratic mechanism. So they will be having different ways of utilizing the platform uh, this is uh, a new project it's a very unique project uh, there are definitely out there a couple of ai uh, blockchain models there's deep brain chain uh, that i'm familiar with but this is different in the way it operates they other ai models can utilize bodos other companies can utilize bodos so it's a very unique way of uh, getting a niche market that is greatly needed right now in the in the terms of what the founder has uh, realized in his years of working in the AI industry is that data is where the issue is getting the data being able to have the data for their models for AI models is where the issue comes uh, where they don't have enough data to be able to build their AI software uh, it takes a long time, and Bodos hopes to be able to provide that service. Um, they want to build the most efficient data sharing network, which they're uh, calling a data market with their proprietary pricing mechanism. Um, they want to build an AI model sharing network, which is called the model network, to facilitate the effective management of the AI development cycle. And then they also want to be able to implement the hardware sharing network to streamline AI product registration and communication. And this would involve the IoT world. So they will have some integration with IoT, which is fantastic since I'm a very big IoT person. I love that whole um, world that it is uh, with communication via IoT. Right now, high level, uh, Bodos has a couple of things in their roadmap. Uh, I will pull it up just to show you. Uh, so the project launch in 2016, uh, the core product, July 2017, the white paper and the demo was released. If you go onto um, their use cases, there's actually a video that will take you to um, a Chinese site which will have a video of them demonstrating their AI uh, data model. Uh, in 2017 in November the version 1 was released in Chinese and English then they had their ICO in December um, it opened up on exchanges in January only a few weeks ago and March is their beta they're announcing uh, their beta uh, uh, testnet version 2.0 and then in May they're going to have their mainnet which is version 3.0 which is fantastic news obviously there's going to be a big ramp up before then um, they have very nice healthy growth ever since it's been released and I think it will sustain that especially with what they have and what they're offering so as far as their team concerned um, obviously people have heard about Bodos and one of the main people they hear about is Ting Ting Wang which she was the 
uh, chief marketing officer at NEO when it was Anshares. So obviously she has her experience in the uh, marketing department when it comes to the blockchain. And obviously NEO is a very successful blockchain. Um, so we are hoping that that thing will continue with Bodos. Uh, the co-founder and CEO is Sing Song. And uh, he has been focused in on high-tech investments, corporate strategy. He also worked in the AI industry, uh, if you go into the white paper, uh, as far as how he kind of got into this whole model and how it's going to be working. And then they have a couple of co-founders, CTO, architects uh, with history in the blockchain, uh, history with Hawaii, uh, the company, the manufacturer, the electronics manufacturer. Um, Zen uh, Gao had worked in the AI industry. And then there's some AI entrepreneurs that's working with them. And then they have an advisory team, um, strategic thinker and innovator with 25 years of financial services. So um, previous uh, working at Bank of America, Wells Fargo. So some financial uh, background people uh, with them. And then we have some legal team, uh, Ryan David Williams. And then they also have other uh, advisors or teams or collaborators um, that they're working with. So if we go to the uh, their YouTube page, you can get a quick intro to what their uh, bottos, how it works. It's a very cool infographic uh, video. And you can actually see how the, the model works and how people are going to utilize the services. So definitely recommend to check that out. As far as coin market cap is concerned, right now Bodos is sitting at uh, a rank of 1,189, mainly due to the circulation count. So the circulation count is going to increase over time. Um, every couple of months, uh, the, the market cap will increase, I believe, uh, three or four months after the release. It's going to go up. Um, I will get the numbers and I'll release it and put it in the comments below. But they don't have a current market cap written down here uh, due to the circulation count uh, not being supplied. So they're sitting at around 23 cents. Uh, it came out of the gate around 30 cents. Um, and I believe the ICO crowd sale price was about 11 cents. And it hit about 35, 36 cents um, at all time high after it came out. And then it bottomed out a little about 15 uh, cents, give or take. And now it's sitting, you know, pretty good. It's had some very nice steady growth, especially with all the the bad days we've been having. Bodos has actually been doing really good. Uh, and you can only get it right now on Gate.io and Bbox, uh, and then Big One, which I've never heard of. So uh, Gate.io is where I got mine at. Uh, Bbox, I know a lot of people like Bbox now. Um, so you can definitely check those two out uh, if you're looking to get Bodos. Uh, another nice piece of news is obviously the Draper uh, Dragon Digital Fund Invest in Bodo, so uh, well-known international blockchain fund um, invested in them. Uh, Tim Draper is one of the old-school Silicon Valley venture capitalists, so he has invested in many, many um, companies that are now uh, Fortune 500 companies. So. You know, usually he wouldn't put his money in anything, so he probably did his research and, you know, his due diligence on the project. So that is always a good thing. Uh, obviously, I know a lot of people talk about Bodos and their potential partnerships, so I haven't seen any letter of intent or any signed deal with Hawaii, which is one of the largest uh, electronics telecommunication companies in the world. Uh, but I do know that, you know, they are in talks and the previous uh, workers there have worked there. So hopefully they'll announce some news soon um, if they do have a partnership with them. Because if they get at a partnership with them, it would be a huge, huge thing, especially if they were able to uh, support the IoT and AI development that Hawaii U.S. is conducting in smart cities, auto, uh, IoT, and smart homes. 
if those things were actually uh, collaborated and um, legitimized, then that would be a huge move for Bodos. So I do believe that they can get it. So uh, hopefully they'll be able to announce that information soon. So I am going to jump into the white paper. I will try to go as quick as possible without leaving out too much information, but just to simplify what Bodos is uh, and how I think it's going to impact the market. So as I mentioned earlier, uh, this is kind of the founder's motivation to uh, opening up this company. So after being involved in a dozen uh, intelligent hardware development such as nuclear batteries, smart homes, and in particular with the introduction to deep learning, we realized AI had gained significant development in data processing and in the algorithm can even write its own code and constantly improve it. Therefore, the algorithm can't be the major driver of the AI product development. The data is the pain point. So data is always the first thing because the AI system will be able to work and code its own algorithm over time, but the data still needs to be provided for the AI to function. Uh, more information about uh, pain points in AI development, uh, but basically they, they realize that blockchain is the best medium for the advancement of AI. Um, and being able to pair blockchain plus data plus AI will be the, the sole solution for this. So um, if anybody wants to know, because a lot of people wonder where this name came from, so they said they named the project Botos as it implies the robot system, Botos, and Robot Lover, <laughs> how they got to Robot Lover as a name, Bot Atos, in Italian, which is very funny. Um, so now I'm just going to call Bot Atos from now on. If anybody, uh, all my friends who know me who speak Italian, that they will probably wonder why I said that. So um, I, I just highlighted a lot of the information here as far as how they want to improve, uh, where the problem lies right now, and kind of using. So here, here's the main goal. Um, using the Bottos platform, AI product or service providers can obtain specific training data in a more reliable and economic way, whereas the data uh, contributors can declare ownership of the data as a personal asset and capitalize this asset via the token reward system, as well as they can have a better control of the data through Bottos protection mechanism. So part of the allocation of the Bottos token will be for data mining and for um, owning these uh, data sets uh, through you know what they're going to be using as a collection pool basically you'll be mining for data and you'll own that data which will be considered a Bados token um, and this goes on to that exact thing that I was just talking about so basically you know selling tokens uh, on the exchange as well as uh, acquiring the data using it to fund their projects, gain market valuation. So there are multiple uses of the token. It is a utility token, it is a currency token, as well as a mining. Um, so their vision, as I mentioned earlier, and then here's some distinct features. Incentivize the data and model sharing with the token reward system via data mining. Deliver end-to-end -end solutions to the AI development cycle management through smart data contracts. Create the traceability through the registration of the original or transformed data to ensure quality and proper use. So this is, you know, double checking the work, making sure the data is correct, um, quality assurance for the uh, data that's provided to the AI models or the contracts. Um, so technical, uh, basically, they re they uh, compare themselves to Bitcoin. So Bitcoin created the coin mining, uh, coin mining mechanism based on computer power to reward BTC, where Bados needs a different mechanism to enable the meaningful of the data sharing. So we created the data mining mechanism to reward data contributors with BTO based on the data provided. Credits have to be earned with every transaction based on positive results. And then here they go over their reward, uh, their function map on how the data is requested, validated, and then sent to the provider. And then the different layers that they have. Um, there's a development service layer, which will include their, all their smart contracts for providing these services. A user layer, uh, which will be the actual wallet, 
the blockchain browser, the model market, uh, probably the mining as well. Uh, and then there's the blockchain service layer, which is security, consensus, smart contracts. And then these are the different use cases where they hope to be able to gain the market uh, through our, uh, providing the data for artificial intelligence, for speech recognition, um, for semantic identification, computer vision, uh, robots. They even uh, gave a little shout out to Terminator robots, which I thought was funny. <laughs> Um, and then, as I mentioned, hardware devices, uh, IoT. So they do plan on going into IoT, uh, providing these data models for IoT devices and software. So how it works, um, I think I highlighted, yep. So the BTO allocation plan, as I mentioned before, there are is a breakdown of how much was the public Crowds uh, uh, funding, which I believe is three hundred and sixty thousand, it is going to go up, I believe, to four hundred plus thousand. Um, but this community foundation is the de uh, the mining pool, basically. This is going to be where people are going to mine for the data. Um, so, you know, being able to provide those, uh, and this will be a long allocation. So, most like three hundred and seventy thousand tokens will happen over a couple of years. Um, most Usually they're about 10 to 20 years. So uh, I didn't see it marked down here in the papers how long it's going to take for this to show up, but we can always follow up. So as far as Bodice is concerned, I think it's a fantastic project. Um, I think their team, um, their strategy, their vision uh, is very strong. Uh, the product, the model behind it is very intricate and I think it's very uh, needed right now. Uh, I do like that it's a, it's a data focused product. It's not just AI. When I heard about Bodos and I heard it was AI, I just thought, okay, another AI pro product. But it's actually through AI data mining, which I think is fantastic. So obviously, you know, do your own research. This is not financial advice. But uh, please leave me a comment what you guys think. Uh, do you think Bodos has a future? Um, you know, are you going to follow it? Uh, definitely check it out. Uh, they have some cool stuff. Uh, definitely check out their videos, as I mentioned before. Um, I want to thank everyone once again for liking, subscribing, um, sending me comments. Uh, hopefully I got to everyone. I'll try to keep up as much as I can until the volume gets so crazy, uh, which I hope it does. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, please like, subscribe, um, and send me a message. All right, guys, have a great day.